Pilot shortage, the next airline's challenge. Front wind, three zero zero, at front six, go to speed three. Runway three one left, see you fly. After being pushed into crisis by the coronavirus, the aviation sector now confronts even greater challenges as the world emerges from the worst of the pandemic to find a pilot shortage after thousands were laid off or decided to retire. Government policies such as mandatory vaccinations for trainee pilots and travel restrictions have also discouraged a new generation of aviators, according to Banu Chowdhury, CEO of Alpha Aviation Group, which currently runs flying schools in the Philippines, Southeast Asia's training hub. They have trained over 2,500 pilots for airlines such as Philippine Airlines, AirAsia Group, Cebu Pacific, and Air Arabia. Modern, longer-range narrow-body aircraft, such as the Airbus A321 XLR jets, which will be delivered beginning in 2023, will require more pilots than earlier versions, adding to the shortage, Chowdhury said in an interview. Airlines will continue to buy and modernize their fleets, and as they do so, they will require pilots, he said. The industry is starting to get interesting again, and we're starting to see that upward trend, we're starting to have airlines come to us and say look, this is my delivery schedule, can you have pilots ready for me in two years? Many airlines are working hard to rehire pilots, cabin crew, and ground staff, but it has not been an easy process, and some positions remain unfilled. Careers in the business no longer appear to be as secure as before. According to Chowdhury, it takes 18 to 24 months to train a pilot, meaning carriers must focus on making them ready well in advance of the arrival of new aircraft. Due to the restricted production capacity of plane manufacturers, airlines often buy aircraft years in advance. According to Chowdhury, who also heads the UK-based private equity firm CNC Alpha Group and was an early investor in Air Deccan, the crew ratio could be as high as 18 for the A321 XLR compared to 10 or 12 for older models in the same family. Boeing anticipates that the world will require more than 600,000 additional pilots over the next two decades, during which airlines will take delivery of 43,600 new aircraft. Demand for new planes will increase in regions where carriers are looking to replace their older fleets, as well as in countries such as India, which is home to Indigo, Airbus' best-selling narrow-body jet. That is why Alpha Aviation is setting up a new flight training school in India with an initial investment of $15 million, with ambitions to expand and invest up to $100 million, according to Chowdhury. He declined to comment further ahead of the formal announcement, 